In ancient Greece, the populace idolized their athletes. Philosophers, orators, and poets spoke and sang the praises of their champions. The poet Homer wrote, there is no greater glory that can befall a man than what he achieves by the speed of his feet or the strength of his hands. For centuries, men and women have challenged themselves in the arena of sport, striving for excellence and the ultimate reward, victory. But there is something greater than a trophy or a gold medal. It is how one plays the game. that we will take part in the Olympic Games in loyal competition. Respected and abiding by the rules that govern them. Sports no ego to yuko shinzen no tami. For the honor of our country and for the glory of sport. In 1963, the International Fair Play Committee was created in Paris by French tennis legend Jean Barutra to promote fair play and honor athletes, coaches, and fans who exemplified sportsmanship. The first trophy was presented to the legendary Italian bobsledder Eugenio Monti. Although a world champion, his dream was to win an Olympic gold medal. At the 1964 Innsbruck Olympics, Monty heard that Tony Nash's sled from the British team was broken. Monty took a bolt from his sled and gave it to Tony Nash. The British two-man team would win the Olympic gold medal. Eugenio Monti, the bronze. The Fair Play Award also honors those whose lives personify the promotion of fair play. Kip Kano of Kenya won two gold and two silver Olympic medals at the 1968 and 1972 Games. Since then, he and his wife have taken care of and educated hundreds of orphans. Today here, I have 69 orphan children. They don't have father. I'm their father. My wife is their mother. So we are working for them to get education. Our main objective is to educate these people. When they have knowledge, they'll be able to fit in our society and be a good citizen of this country. The Comité International de Fair Play also recognizes an athlete's extraordinary career. American fencer Peter Westbrook competed in six Olympics, yet he is best known as the founder of the Westbrook Foundation in New York City, providing opportunities for inner city children to learn the sport of fencing. The Fair Play Award has honored the spirit of the citizens of Lillehammer, who at the 1994 Olympics welcomed everyone from around the world and cheered for every athlete, no matter where they came from. Sometimes, fair play is an unselfish act to help a person in need. At the 1956 Australian Nationals, Ron Clark is in the lead, followed by John Landy. Clark trips and falls to the track. Landy stops and goes to the aid of his teammate, then makes up the distance he lost and wins the mile championship. The list of other recipients of the International Fair Play Committee's award is unending. Names like Emil Zatopek of the Czech Republic and Laszlo Tabori of Hungary. Both made their mark on sports a half century ago, yet their legacies have endured. And then there are more recent honorees, such as Nordic skier Kenji Ogiwara of Japan, Triple jumper Jonathan Edwards of Great Britain. Eusebio Ferreira da Silva, one of Portugal's most beloved football players. Bobsledder Prince Albert of Monaco. Alpine skiing legend Vreni Schneider of Switzerland. And ski jumper Espen Bredesen of Norway. As IOC president Jacques Rogue said, it takes more than crossing the finish line first to make a champion. A champion is more than a winner. A champion is someone who respects the rules, rejects doping, and competes in the spirit of fair play. And so the International Fair Play Committee Award continues to honor all that is right in sport, celebrating the finest in the human spirit. If there is greater understanding and friendship amongst all people, what more can anyone ask for?